Welcome to your Mercury Retrograde reading. Mercury will go retrograde from the 9th of September until the 1st of October. Now traditionally Mercury Retrograde is associated with delays, malfunctions, confusion and frustration such as electronic equipment not wanting to work, delayed travel times, um, email mishaps, anything to do with communication because Mercury is, complete, is associated with communication. However, Mercury retrograde is an ideal time to reflect on the past as your intuition is now at a very high point. So it's an excellent time to look at your life. What's draining you? What have you been neglecting? What's not working for you anymore? Where are there imbalances? Where do you need to make changes and adjustments? This is really a fantastic time to look at that kind of thing. So we're going to look at the messages and energies Spirit wants you to be aware of and to work on at this time. So let's go ahead and see what this retrograde period is all about for you. Right Pisces, let's get going and see what this Mercury retrograde is all about for you. What are the energies coming in for you? Messages. I'm going to start off by pulling all your oracle cards because this is going to give us a nice core message, a main theme that's coming through over this period for you. And then I'm going to clarify everything with the tarot. Now just remember if the messages that come through don't resonate with you, not to worry. Just means that it's not meant to be your reading at this time. And you can go ahead and look at your moon rising and Venus signs as they could have more relevant, more applicable information for you. So let's get all these oracle cards out. One more card here and then we're going to get going. It's going to be an interesting, a very interesting period here. I can see Pisces. There it, it always is. Mercury retrograde is generally a very interesting period. There's always things that come up that, you know, we have to look at, we have to, we, you know, we have to reflect on, we have to, com have to contemplate on. But it's, I think it's actually, you know, it's like a blessing in disguise period. I love Mercury retrograde. Right. So the first message we get for you, Pisces, is be bold and make the first move, the cardinal moon. So, you know, as we know with Mercury retrograde, we're going to expect some little bumps, or maybe sometimes big bumps and hitches and delays and frustrations, right? People can be a little bit, you know, aggressive, a little bit aggressive, a little bit off, off kilter. So with this, be bold and make the, the first move. There might be something that comes up maybe in any kind, in any area of your life. And you need to, um, instead of, you know, just like, um, kind of taking a back seat the message is coming through for you you need to be bold and make the first move but we're going to see which area of your life this is once we start pulling the tarot but we do need we do need to know and be aware of that this is going to, you're going to have to take a bit of a leadership a little bit of a direct role here in terms of whatever this is and this is coming through saying peaceful resolution which is fantastic if we get peaceful resolution pisces in a mercury retrograde reading it's wonderful okay because it just what it does tell us that whatever this if there are okay it doesn't mean there has to be delays mishaps frustrations you're going to find a way by being bold and making the first move being assertive you're going to bring about a peaceful resolution right that looks so far lovely then we get align your life and this is what's really what we you know what i mentioned in the introduction you know what is not aligned or needs to change this is very much about just looking Taking that time, Pisces, taking that time to reflect, to contemplate and go, all right, what have I, what, what's, what's working for me? Where do I feel good? Where do I not feel good? Is there anything that's draining me? Anything that's making me feel bad? Look at it. Is there anybody or anything that I've been neglecting? Have I been neglecting my health, my exercise program, my family, my being working too hard or, you know, spending too much time out? This is the message coming through. And then we've got the family card. So this could very much be um, something, you know, something, there's some misalignment with regards to your family. But let's go ahead, put, go ahead and pull your tarot cards because this is going to give us more clarification and more insight. Right, so let's get these tarot cards out and then we're going to see what this is all about for you. 
we've got six of pentacles queen of swords eight of cups and there's your family six of cups okay right so be bold make the first move and underneath that we've got the six of pentacles now this is this is really i am this has got to do with some kind of typical mercury retrograde scenario okay so there is going to be and you can anticipate it um pisces there'll be some kind of misunderstanding miscommunication some kind of frustration and it could be any area of your life it could be in your family it could be with your partner with your children with your boss with your colleagues i mean you name it but six of cup the six of pentacles coming in says you're gonna it, it's up to you pisces to kind of say okay Something's going on here, guys. So I can see there's been a little bit of miscommunication, misunderstanding. Let's talk about it. Let's put all our cards on the table, right? Give and take. Let's sort this out. Let's not let not it. Let's not let it get um, blown out of proportion. Let's bring it down to what it actually is and sort it out so nobody's hurt, nobody's insulted, and we can move on. But you are going to take direction in doing that what well, you are definitely coming through as queen of swords pisces now queen of swords is the energy of the card it does not matter if you're masculine or feminine i want you to understand the energy the energy of queen of swords is she is this is being bold and make the first making the first move she doesn't mince her word she's direct she's focused you're not you're not you know it you, if you can imagine this scenario, perhaps just can you imagine if there's some kind of huge miscommunication at work and everybody's saying you did this and he said that and you sent the email, Queen of Swords energy comes in and says, stop, let's sort this out. Let's everybody have, have their chance to speak. We're going to find a solution, a peaceful resolution. And we're going to move on. But it's you, Pisces, that does this. And of course, I'm just saying it like the way I'm saying it, but you're going to do it in your own beautiful, special Pisces way. And you're just going to bring peace and, and balance back into this scenario. Right. So align your life. There is something here with that is not 100% working for you. Now, Pisces, please take this as it resonates in your life at this time. It could be that you are working, you know, overtime, 14 hours a day, right? You're hardly seeing your family. It you could be that you are, you are, you know, traveling so much, your spouse is being ne neglected, okay? I just get something here with the family, especially because it's come up twice, please take it as it comes up for you when we when you see this card what's not working what's what's out of alignment something needs to change and with the eight of cups it tells us there's just something you're going to leave behind now this could just be working over time this could be leaving behind a toxic boss this could be leaving behind a job that is absolutely dimming your light and not letting you be yourself this could be leaving behind a partner that is just um you know is not right for you and you're just in it because you've got no idea why but you leave something behind because it's not you can see she is not aligned now with the family coming up twice it just tells me, Pisces, this, there are people close to you, your loved ones. Okay, everybody's different, you know. Your uh, so for some of us, our family are our, our closest friends. Our, our family are our our animals, our faux babies. Okay, take it as it resonates. But there is something here that you need to be aware of. Something that probably just needs a little bit more attention, time spent, right? As as and doing things together. Um, Whatever that is, maybe like days away, um, quality time at home, please take it as it resonates. But there's, the family is coming up as an area that needs more attention. Okay, now I'm going to pull the little tarot so we can get some further insight to e in each of these messages. Let me see what's going on here for you. Right, I'm going to take these because they jumped. I've got, with the six of pentacles, we have got the Three of Cups, Queen of Swords, we've got the Emperor, 
eight of cups, we've got the three of cup, the three of wands, and with the six of cups, we've got the nine of cups. Right. Pisces, whatever this is that you step in and bring about balance and of you being bold and saying, guys, whatever it is, we're going to sort it out. I want you to know one thing, your direction, your um, vision, your wisdom, the way you go about doing it is very well received. We've got the three of cups here. Just tells me it's very well received. People are relieved. You know, probably like things are going on and people don't, you know, maybe nobody wants to be bold and make the first move. And when you stand up, and it might not even be easy for you, and I understand that, but it's going to be so well received because it looks like nobody else really wants to do it. And then they'll all go, well, let's listen to Pisces. Let's see what Pisces has to say. It's got that energy. It's going to be well received because nobody wants this to escalate or get out of hand. And they're just, just waiting for somebody to just step up and say, okay, let's sort it out. We're going to find a peaceful resolution. Okay, and this is what I see here. And with the emperor, you know, the emperor is a very um, strong, solid card. It tells me that you're you're seen you're seen in a almost like you're seen like this, um, Pisces. When when you take this role, um, if you were not seen as a strong, solid um, person in terms of whatever scenario this is, after this, you are seen. You you've got like this new energy about you, this new aura about you, like, hmm, look at Pisces, they can really, you know, bring resolution to things, they they can stand their ground, they, they're they strong, you know, they might be, you know, usually Pisces come across and they're lovely and gentle, but you know, let's be honest, Pisces have got this strength about them that many people don't see, and this scenario just tells me, like, people look at you and they go, ooh, Pisces, this is a whole other side to you. A lot of respect. A lot of respect coming through for you here. A lot of respect. It's well received and it, there's a lot of respect. The, with the three of wands coming through, through here, it just tells me, uh, Pisces, that you, you, you know, you're going to take time to contemplate and consider where this imbalance is, whatever it is that you need to leave behind. You, are, But it tells me you're very aware. You're very aware of the areas that need to be tweaked and changes and, and changed. You, you're very aware of it. it. Just, you know, you might want to sit back and just spend some time thinking about how you're going to do it. But there's no big surprise for you. You're very aware that you probably just need to spend some time with whatever it is. You know, this could just be with a parent, a grandparent. Please take it as it resonates because there's so many scenarios. But it just tells me here, as she looks out, into this, you know, into into the the ocean with all the ships on on the waves, it just tells me that there's you you know it's just like always at the back of your mind. Gosh, I should be doing that. Oh, I wish I had more time to spend. Maybe you've got a you know an elderly family member, and you're just like, oh my gosh, I really want to spend more time with them. I just want to see how they're doing. This is coming through, and I want you to know one thing, um, Pisces. You've got nine of cups here sitting on your family and six of cups. It's going to do you the world of good to just balance what this art is with your with your family and your loved ones. You've got this is a wish fulfillment. You, it's going to be so, so good for you. You know, when you do do it, when you do spend time with them and whatever it is, you know, having a little bit of fun, family night, family play date, whatever it is, you know, a date night with your, your, your sweet, with your sweetheart, whatever it is, guys, nine of cups tells me this is a wish fulfillment card. It's so good for you. You're going to feel great. And the person or the people that you do this with are also going to feel great. It'll be such a wonderful thing to do. So whatever it is for you and however it resonates just know that it's going to be so well received and so appreciated right so let's go ahead now and pull one more card for you just to get a final message from spirit in terms of the best energies messages to be aware of over this mercury retrograde period look at that be spirit 
sweet results await. I really do see that for you. That's why I tell you that everybody like gets so like, oh, Mercury retrograde. And there's like people who just want to go under the covers and don't want to go out. But you know, there's, there's a gift in everything. There's a gift in everything because if we just take the time and just you know, or become aware of where we need to stand up and where we need to make an adjustment, sweet results await. There is no two ways about it. Pisces, there's a lot of good things that can come out of this period. And these this, these good things have got like lasting effect. So yes, there might be those challenges and there might be those frustrations and delays. But if you work with it and manage it, sweet results await. That looks so lovely. So there you have it. That is all I have for you right now, my dear Pisces. I wish you a smooth and wonderful Mercury retrograde because I just see good things here for you. I really do. If you like the reading, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Just lets me know that you like this kind of content. I'm sending you all lots and lots of love. Until the next time.